Hello and welcome to our blind playthrough of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. The this first game. The first game. <laughs> of so <many>. far. <laughs> this has been highly requested on the channel. Speaking of the channel, you don't know who we are. Well, first off, it says it on our name, Eric and Sarah. And we take turns playing video games, often story-based uh, video games. And today we have what looks to be a good one. I mean, yeah. Or so we've been told. Yes, by our closest community members. They're like, Eric and Sarah, you have to play Mass Effect. Please, I beg of you. So, on that note. Your wish is our command. I'm dedicating this playthrough to you all. Jay and B. Faust. I know you guys are excited about this. So, there. I used to be my first choice. <laughs> or the playthrough, because I know this is a choice-based game. To some extent. I, we don't know like yes. how heavily right. that is involved. but So, your boy's a bit stressed. Now, as many of you know, if you watched our previous update video... Yes. We were kind of not sure about playing this On the game. Fence. Because we're both not like hugely into sci-fi. Me in particular. Um, it just well, like it didn't seem very exciting to me. But so many people have recommended it. Yeah. You know, I feel like I wouldn't be a true gamer if I didn't give everything a shot. Exactly. Not that I'm playing, but <laughs> I'm here for the whole ride, so. Let's do it. Are you ready? I am as ready as I'll ever be. I'm not ready because before we begin, if you're like oh, right. <laughs> Eric and Sarah, I just wish I could gain access to your videos before everyone else on YouTube. Well, luckily, we have YouTube memberships and Patreon where you can get early access to all of our videos. About two to three weeks. Two to three weeks. So hey, by the yo. time you're seeing this on YouTube, we already have two to three weeks, weeks worth, worth of videos of... posted there over there. So. Well said, sir. All right. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go play game X. Wow. I remember when this, when Legendary Edition came out, it was all the rage. It was the rage. On YouTube. Ooh. Okay. Bioware. Oh. <laughs> I'm already hyped. Ooh, okay. Since, the music's good. Okay. At least on the menu. I'm already liking it. Also, you can see my I like gamer the font. Tonic. Uh EA. EA Sports, it is in the game as well as privacy uh, agreements. It's also in the game, as you can clearly see. Children. I saw a point that just said children. I don't know what that means. Oh. Let's just go straight to Mass Effect 3. Options? Oh, right. Oh, oh. wait. That's credits. Whoops. Oh, I'm already misclicking. Oh, no. We're in trouble. All right. We figured out our options, and we could finally begin the game. Mass Effect. Here we go. Pretty cool. And scary. Oh, that was that just a loading screen? Oh, it's a lo okay. Very intense loading screen. It's a menu within a menu. Yeah. Start new career. It's a career. This is a career game. Wow, career mode activated. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Military, okay. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Hacking Secure into the connection <laughs> confirmed. Oh, we're starting right off with picking okay. a character. Due to your covert N7 status, ID records in are incomplete. Please go from identity from the records below or register manually. Oh, wait, what do you mean, enter new ID? Manu, enter career oh. info and physical stats into the Norm Normandy crew database. So I've been told by the board of trustees <laughs> of our channel. AKA our patrons. Our patrons, that Jane Shepard has a better, I guess, overall performance compared to John. So... Like voice acting. Voice acting, right? yeah. So I'm gonna 
Op for Jane. Alright. For now. She looks pretty tough. What up, Jane? Jane Shepard. Oh, but you do get to pick your name. Does it matter? Like, will that affect anything? Right. Oh, no. <laughs> like, do they say your name? Like, if you change it, will they not... You know? Isn't yeah. There, isn't there something like that in Fallout? In Fallout 4? I where, like, there are certain names that they can say. Right. Here we go again. Oh, no, I feel like... Ah, this is tough. Because I don't want to, like... I feel like that's this is her. This is Jane already. Yeah. You know? I don't want to, like, switch it. It's one thing if I create a character. But... I feel like... We should maybe Does keep... your name matter in Mass Effect? Yeah. Um... Okay, all characters in the game will use your last name. Martinez? No, Jane? Shepard. <laughs> well, be... So it doesn't matter oh, what, what name you have. Gotcha. I'm just gonna keep it Jane then. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Does right. she look like a Jane to you? Jane? Honestly? Kind of. I mean... Jane. I will keep it Jane. Keep it Jane. Please log in to access your profile. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna press X to accept. We got Jane. Profile reconstruction complete. Earthborn. Born. Reputation: Soul Survivor, Class Soldier. Okay, we're completing this. Once you confirm your character is complete, you will uh, be unable to change any settings. Oh, I know. Identification confirmed. Combat difficulty. Now, normally. I tend to go for like higher difficulty, but this is a long game. We have two other games in the series. Yeah. I think I'm just here for the experience for now. So I'm gonna keep it normal unless it gets like mind numbingly easy. Um, auto save? Yeah. Sure. Oh, subtitles. Oh, sick. Good call, good catch. What is legendary mode for level scaling? In classic mode, the original 1 through 60 level range will be used instead of new 1 through 30 level range. Oh. And talent points progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. I don't know. I guess if that's the base option. Yeah, I'll just keep it. Okay. Sure. Continue. Now we're starting. Let's go. Let's 10 go. minutes. <laughs> well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. Ooh. She could have some serious emotional scars. True. That's her social soul survivor. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Yeah. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. Hmm. Okay. Anderson. I'll make the call. He knows what's up. I like you. I, he, his voice sounds familiar. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring, spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very Whoa! Space Dude, we could not read all that. Space fabric. Well, you guys can read it. <laughs> That's true, we can read it later. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm editing. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Joker. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? Commander? Hades. It's very pretty so far. Yeah. This, the space elements. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. But Jane looks like a badass, man. Just the way she walks, how she carries herself. And she's packing <laughs> some heat. Because <laughs> she got like four guns on there. Oh. Is green. Approach run has begun. Just like a portal? No, no, we're just an energy source. Oh, it oh. like sends us into like hyperspeed. Oh, yeah. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. 
All systems online. He Rift. sounds familiar. Just under 1500k. Ah, 1500 is good. <laughs> Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. Nihilus. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. Is that Seth Green? Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. So that's Nihilus? They say he's... Hmm. Keeping an eye on things? Yeah. Cut, Cut the shatter. That's enough. Your soldiers. Are yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Commander. That's right. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to Awkward. meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? <laughs> you made him mad. Sure. I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> okay. All See, right. this is this is my problem, not my problem, like my personal problem with with these types of games, is like for some reason, when it comes to comes to like a game like Red Dead, it's, yeah. this is not a problem for me. But with games like these where they're sci-fi and there's lots of like techie sounding things, I have a really hard time remembering, yeah, like names, and I don't know, just like all these like just official, the jargon. yeah, the jargon, right. So if I like talk to myself a lot, trying to. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember these things. Okay. Yeah. So we have Joker. Joker. He did sound like yeah. Uh, Seth Green. Should we be? The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Okay. Do you want to know right the now, or do you want people to in the comm room, Commander? Huh. Who who the voice actors are? Oh. Sure. You can just tell me. Okay. I'll I'll uh, that'll be my role. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Joker. So there's Joker. He's a. What so, would you call them? A pilot? Pilots. We have a squad. Journal. We have a journal, Sarah. And a codex. Oh, that's good. Is there anything in here already? Um. Personal history summary. It is Seth Green. Nice. So. I didn't know. Oh. What else is he in? Is he a. He plays. He's a uh, prolific voice actor? Yeah, he plays that. Chris Griffin in Family Guy. Oh. Uh, uh, so we have aliens, council races, three most politically important species in the galaxy, humanities systems alliance. Roughly 1,200 okay. years ago, the Turians were invited to okay, join the Nihilus, Sindel right? Council. Is that Nihilus? To fulfill yeah, the he's a galactic peacekeepers. Turian. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence Salarians. and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians okay. come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157. All right. Which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. Okay. okay. So we have Turians here, which is... Can you scroll back up? Yeah. And then we have two others. Okay. So Turians and humans have some beef. Yes. But they're chill. Nihilus uh, is a Turian. And then there's the Citadel Council. So the Turians are peacekeepers. They have the largest fleet. Okay, pretty pretty big group then. And then we have two other groups, the Solarians. Yeah. And the Asari. 
So are those not? I wonder if those aren't human. So there's well, other aliens. Yeah, groups. probably. Um. Okay. And there has been history of war between. Okay. Cool. All right. So that's it for Turians. aliens. Um. And then secondary. Okay, I've just got on here. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Okay. okay. Still, the alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, Shanxi. the alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic mm. face of humanity. Okay. So the Systems Alliance is humanity's space government, essentially. Yes. Okay. I see. And then secondary, personal history summary. Ooh, Shepard. If you're new around here, this is how things work. We yes. read all the lore we can before we actually start playing the game. Exactly. <laughs> so it could be here for another 30 minutes. All right, so no voice acting here. You were born on Earth, but you never know, knew your parents. A child of the streets, you learned to live by your wits and guts, surviving in the hidden underbelly of the uh, metropolises of humanity's homeworld. Eager to find a better life, you joined the Alliance military when you came of age. You volunteered for an expedition to Akuze, a lush world on the outskirts of Alliance space uh, that had suddenly dropped out of contact. Arriving on the surface, your patrol found the settlement intact, but no survivors. At nightfall, the Thresher Maws struck ooh, mindless abominations of teeth and tentacles that rose Gross. up from beneath the earth. Constant gunfire couldn't drown out the shrieks of your fellow soldiers as they were dragged down to a gruesome death. That's where it became the sole survivor. Fifty Marines died on Akuze. Um, I probably, I probably put, it's probably Akuze or something. Well, they already said it. I think it was... Akuze. Akuze? I think so. You were the only one to make it back to the landing zone alive. A monument on the planet commemorate the massacre. A grim reminder of the price humanity must pay as they spread throughout the stars. Okay. So these guys, the, uh, what are they called? The malls. Thresher malls. Thresher, some sort of creature? Yeah. And then we read that, right? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> Yes. Why is it on both? How does that work? This is different. Oh, okay. All right. So, 2069, Armstrong Outpost at Shackleton Crater becomes the first human settlement on Luna. Okay. Lowell City in Eos Chasma, Chasma, Chasma becomes the first human settlement on Mars. In 20, okay, 2100, roughly first human settlement on Mars. Um, Ashton Energy Corporation demonstrates helium-3 fuel extraction from the atmosphere of Saturn. Cool. Construction begins be, uh, beyond the orbit of Pluto. Okay, so we got pretty far by that point. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, it was a lot. Yeah. Translation of Promethean data leads humans to the Karen, Karen, Karen mass relay. System Alliance founded to coordinate exploration and colonization of extrasolar worlds. Mm. Singapore. International Spaceport exposes downward, downward communities to containers of dust form element zero. Wow. We're born! In Ayo. 2154. Can I go back up, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. The planet Demeter. Systems Alliance... First extrasolar colony world. Demeter. Interesting. System Alliance occupiers completed portions of Arctura Station as a headquarters. Whoa! The next one. Some children of Singapore exhibit minor telekinetic. Te what? From that dust? Is that what it was talking about? Oh. Back in Singapore? 
Keep going. Up. Yeah, the dust form element zero. Dust form element zero. Causes telekinetic okay. abilities. abilities. Can we get some of that? <laughs> <laughs> Turions, which is the alien, encounter human explorers. First contact war. Occupation and liberation of the human colony of Sanchi. Humans learn potential of bio uh, biotics. Roughly 10% of exposed children show some level of biotic ability. Uh, okay, the System Alliance par uh, Parliament formed. Humans establish embassy. Oh gosh, this is a lot. I know, but Terran slavers attack the Alliance Colon. Uh, colony of Mindor. So it looks like Batarians are bad. So, wait, when was Shepard born? Oh, good call. 2154. So she was... Uh, keep going. 23? Oh, Threshermonas devoured the Alliance colony of Kuze. When that happened? Yes. Current date... That was six years ago. So she's 29. 29, almost 30. Ish. Hey. 30. Hey, it's perfect. Wow. Okay. Eric Current just turned 30 earlier this month. Yeah. Almost three weeks ago. Okay, cool. Lore has been updated. What squad? Uh. The squad's gonna let you view your te team's talents. Use the directional to select a talent or its rank. Press X to spend a top point points. to gain a rank in this. Well, we already have three points. Oh, sick. Okay. All right, so we have pistols. Um, shotguns are not unlocked yet. Assault rifles, combat armor, assault training, increases melee damage, weapon damage, grants the adrenaline burst ability. Soldier, frontline warriors are trained to withstand the physical punishment that comes with combat. Increases health, allows limited health generation. Health regen is always good. Charm. Decreases the cost uh, of items in stores. So it's basically charisma. Yeah, basically. Intimidate. <laughs> um, increases gain. Increases credits gained when selling items in stores. <sighs> okay. Maybe we should wait, wait a little bit until we actually get into some combat or something. Yeah. You okay. can toggle your helmet. I am pressing it. It's not working. Oh. Maybe not yet. Maybe we were too early. Could be. Okay. Photo mode. Nice. <laughs> okay, let's get back into the game. Let's play. Who are you? Just a grunt? Yeah. That's pretty comfy. Oh, this is they look very cozy. I think you could maybe talk to some or something. There was like a yeah. I talked to these guys already. In the com room, Commander. Uh, While you were looking up Seth Green. Is that what that is? That little circle? It like means you can interact. Yeah. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Oh, we did, because we read all that lore. Ah, uh, it's, it's no big deal. We're, we're on a spaceship. Like, we've got all the time in the world. Exactly. Oh, there are a lot of people. Wow, there are a lot more people here than I expected. Yeah. Now we get a Presley. What up, Presley? Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew mm. feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert oh. agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Investigate? Yeah. Like him? Oh! Oh, this is cool. Okay. Uh, you don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first what? contact war. Oh, okay. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians oh. hit us. That was long ago. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board, especially a Turian. Do they We're an grudges? alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. 
And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. Mm. I don't like it. Okay. Um, uh, Captain. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. Ooh. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. Okay. He's treating this shit. You're convincing me. Yeah. Presley. Something big is going on. Uh, stealth systems. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. Okay. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance mm. of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover? Okay. You're wrong. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Okay, so that's good. Terry Inspector, did you look at that? Yeah. Remember he talked about... How he doesn't. 30 years ago. It's been 30 years ago since that okay. war. Uh, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Codex. And some XP. You got XP for talking to people? Okay. Jenkins. Doctor. Oh, I guess they're busy. Chalk was. Something I can oh, do for oh. you, Commander? <laughs> I have questions. I was curious about a few things. What? You and me both. Like I said before, too many things don't add up on this mission. Okay, that's the same thing. I better head down and see the captain. Yes, ma'am. Like All right. Like Prime Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectre Jenkins. Is. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about. Oh, this are these Over guys? Here. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. We got some conspiracy theorists on board. We do. What up, Jenkins? What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely I hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> Damn. Um. Uh, yeah, we gotta relax a little bit. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Yeah. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with a Spectre on board. Could be a lass. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Mm -hmm. Others still blame them for the first contact war. Okay. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. Keeps himself. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Wow. Okay, Nihilus. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually mm -hmm. work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate oh. to preserve and protect galactic stability. So they're like protected uh, at any cost. Don't forget impossible. that part. Yeah. <laughs> Spectres operate above the law. There are no humans. What are they called? The mission, the impossible task force. Is that just what they're called? Uh, yeah, okay. I think so. I am. Why don't we have any of our own? Yeah, people in yeah, there? yeah. Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. Mm. So far, it hasn't happened. So hey, a Spectre Commander, doesn't you have make to be a good Spectre. Yeah. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds. Just like you on a coos. Oh. A coos. You brought that up? <laughs> Just like casually? Um. So I could... Yeah, no kidding. We, there were 50 other people who yeah. died, and he's just Marines like... died there, Jenkins. Sorry, Commander. I I didn't mean to offend you. I Well, you did. I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? Yes. So the so the three... There's a council species, so I wonder if that's the three species... Those other two that we yeah. saw? Yeah. So, so it's those three and then just humans. Perhaps. Um... Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What 
What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Hmm, why are you going there? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. That's I can't wait for the real mission saying. to start. Um, I'd sit here. You'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. Oh, it's just a coos. This is my big okay. chance. Yeah. I need to show the brass what I can do. Ooh. Be careful. There's no rush. Don't play the hero. Because that's me. That's my job. Just be careful. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. I don't know if I believe that. Right. Is Jenkins done? I'm still going to call it a coos. <laughs> the captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, so we have Jenkins. Jenkins. The doctor. Doc. Doc C. Uh, and then this guy was Presley. Yes. We got more in the codex, but uh, maybe I'll <laughs> wait Actually do some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Accomplish a task. Oh, thank you for wow. saluting me. Okay. You are a commander. I can't attack yet. I, I don't Who do you want to attack? <laughs> I just want to get familiar with the controls. Nihilus! Ooh, all right, Where's the Nihilus. commander? Or is he somewhere else? Yeah. Maybe he's somewhere else. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Um... So what? I'm a marine, not some tourist on vacation. <laughs> it's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your oh. territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Mm. I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This okay. mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Well, we gathered that. That's obvious. I already figured that out. <laughs> We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What kind of pickup? Yeah. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Um. What does that mean? Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Oh. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. Okay. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 okay. years. Okay. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Um... People might want it. Yeah. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Okay. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. What? He's here to evaluate you. Oh, oh. are they gonna let us in? To the... Um, what was it? The Spectres? Maybe. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how right. far the Alliance has come. 
Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. <laughs> Thanks. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the oh. Spectres. Ooh. <laughs> why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. Alright, uh, I'm we all right, are a elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Makes sense. Uh, I think he already supports this. What's the next step? Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay. Okay. Um, just... What do you know about the Protheans? Protheans. Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. Okay. We all owe the Protheans a great So is that what that blue thing was that we used? Yeah, that's the like... The relays? Yeah. Eden Prime? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much farming. bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Uh, beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, yep. even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, mm. we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an alliance yeah. ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Terminus systems? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Low-key? Low-key. You're talking to Mr. Low-key. I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Uh oh. What's I'm ready. wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Have they already been attacked? Bring Maybe. it up on screen. Yep, <laughs> I would say so. All right, give me in. Put me in, Coach. Get down. Damn, we're too late. That's pretty serious. Oh. Who are they? Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Uh. People are going all out for this. Well. Uh oh. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. What the hell is that? It's like a status call. report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Damn, that's a long way still. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. All right. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. <gasps> Jenkins! Oh, no. Just give me a gun. I mean, I already have them, but still. Engaging stealth Jenkins. systems. 
Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Ooh. Do you think they already got it? Your team's the Maybe. muzzle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Yes, sir. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. <laughs> I thought ahead. he was supposed to be like watching you. Maybe he will. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Uh, he can count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Oh, here we go. We are approaching drop point two. Ooh, saving content. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Got a map. All right. Before we begin, oh my goodness. Okay, before we do that, we have a map. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, so here we are, we got dig site. So we gotta go all the way over here. Debris, point of interest. Camp, train what? station. Okay, cool. Point of interest, mineral. All right, should we go to the codex? How much more did we get? Uh, instinct races. Oh, everything blinking. Uh, okay. And then secondary. Uh, we got one. I guess we can check it out really quick. Okay, so we got extinct races. 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only space-faring species in the galaxy. Ooh. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They are believed to have built the mass relays and the citadel, which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. Okay. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleo technology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and derelict stations clean. Some believe the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger races. Oh. The Hanar homeworld of Kaje, for example, shows clear evidence of former Prothean occupation. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens. So they literally, like, yeah, tampered with evolution. Okay. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only already? to the Citadel no. Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Okay. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. Which type is Nihilus? Yeah. All get the job done one way or Which another. Which type are you? Often operating exactly. outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment but makes it clear that the council is concerned okay. about a situation. Makes sense. Perfectly so. And then we have... Humanity's here. first contact with an alien race okay. occurred in 2157. At that time, the Alliance allowed survey fleets to activate any dormant mass relays discovered, a practice considered dangerous and irresponsible by council-aligned races. When a Turian patrol discovered a human fleet attempting to activate a relay, they attacked. Okay. One human vessel survived, retreating to the colony of Shanxi. The Turians followed, quickly defeating the local yeah. forces. Shanxi was occupied, the first and to date only human world to be conquered by an alien species. The Turians believed the handful of ships they defeated represented the bulk of human defenses. So they were unprepared when the second fleet, under Admiral Castany Drescher, launched a strong counter-offensive, evicting them from Shanxi. Okay. The Turians mobilized for full-scale war, drawing the attention of the rest of the galaxy. The Council quickly intervened, forcing a truce. Mm. Fortunately for humanity, the first contact war was ended with a diplomatic solution. Okay, so the Turians wanted to go all out. 
Yeah, but it ended relatively quickly. Yeah. The terminus systems are located on the far side of the Attican Traverse, beyond the space administered by the Citadel Council or claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. It is populated by a loose affiliation of minor species, united only in their refusal to acknowledge the political authority of the Council or adhere to the Citadel Conventions. Their independence comes at a price. The terminus is fraught with conflict. War among the various species is common, okay. as governments and dictators constantly rise and fall. The region is a haven for illegal activities, particularly piracy and the slave trade. At least once a year, a fleet from the terminus invades the nearby Attican Traverse. These attacks are typically small raids against poorly defended colonies. The Council rarely retaliates, as sending patrols into the Terminus systems could unify the disparate species mm. against their common foe, triggering a long and costly war. So they just say, screw you to the poorly defended colonies? I guess so, unless... Sucks to be you, sucks to be you wow. out there. Well, we're gonna be in war one way or another, it looks like. Yeah. Um... Ships. Ships and vehicles. Okay, so the, oh, oh, so the secondary doesn't get any voiceover. Oh, work. I see. <laughs> uh, light lag prevents sensing in real time at great distances. Uh, a ship firing its thrusters at the Charon Relay uh, can be easily detected from Earth. Um, Six billion kilometers away, kilometers away. But Earth will only see the event five hours and forty-five minutes after it occurs. Due to the light speed limit, defenders can't see enemies coming into the already arrived because there is FTL travel communications but no FTL sensors um, f uh, frigates are crucial for scouting and picket duties passive sensors are used for long-range detection while active sensors obtain short-range high-quality targeting data Passive sensors include visual thermographic and radar detectors that watch and listen for objects in space a power chip emits a great deal of energy, the heat of the life support systems, the radiation given off by power, power plants and electrical equipment, the exhaust of the thrusters. Starships stand out plenty against the near absolute zero background of space. Passive sensors can be used to, during FTL travel, but incoming data is significantly distorted by the effects of the mass effects, AO, uh, envelope and Doppler shift. Um, active sensors are radars and high uh, resolution la radars, laser detector detection and ranging that emit a ping of energy and listen for return signals. Radars have a narrower field of view than radar, but ra radar resolution allows images of detected objects to be assembled. Active sensors are useless when a ship is moving at FTL speeds. So the big thing about that, FTL. Light lag. See, for me, that that entire entry just <laughs> over my head. I don't know. Maybe someone can explain it to me. It's detected. important. Yeah. So light speed. So the big thing I noticed is that yeah, defenders can't see enemies coming until they have arrived. So then they don't know when. Yeah. Okay. I also noticed that we have a journal. Um, like written by? Oh, or is it just? Okay, it's just like. There's not more. To no, it? I can't. I don't think I can. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um. Now, for your squad, can you see the other members of your squad, or is it only? Oh, your... we can. Oh. And you have your helmet oh. now. Okay, so Jenkins. Oh, so I can Jenkins. give them stuff too. Oh. So I can't be all like selfish. <laughs> Alenko. Jenkins. He can throw enemies. Oh man. Wait. So he, he's what? More so combat training. Did you use a skill point? I did not lose a skill point. You had three. Before. I had three. Unless I accidentally used one. Uh, and then Shepard's me. Oh, oh, they each have their own. They have their own. That's good, then. I can, I can be selfish. You can be selfish. Okay, let's go ahead. Since so going into combat, I liked... Um, I like this one. Purchase rank. 
I have a pistol to start off with. Marksman ability, overcure ability, oh gosh. Um, increase his health, let's do that. And, where would you go, charm or intimidate? Really important at the moment. Yeah, but. maybe for now let's just do. Let's get my pistol up. Okay. Then I gotta do. Jenkins. Oh, and Kaiden. Kaiden. Alenko. Um. Bolsters your kinetic shield with a mass effect field that can absorb massive amounts of damage. That sounds cool for you. Yeah. But cannot block attacks that bypass shields. Um, first aid. Yes. Very helpful. And then we have Jenkins, Leroy Jenkins. Um, unlocks heavy armor. Soldier, kind of like mine. Let's do, let's get his assault rifle up a little bit. And let's do soldier. Okay. All right, looks like you're ready to go. Now do I have to hit a certain button? Or are they all good? Good, yeah, okay. once it's done, it's, it's done. done. Alright, here we go. Alright, get the controls. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Smells like smoke and death. Smoke and death. Eden Prime will never be the same again. <laughs> like our stance. Oh god, what happened here? Huh. Looks good at the game. So Jenkins, is, he said he's from here, right? Yes, Jenkins is from here. Oh god. Alright, so I have a... that. Alright, I won't... Yeah, it does course. look really good. Yeah. Kind of what is this? Like, that Ew. looks unpleasant. <laughs> Ash. How much can I? I don't have a jump. I just don't think I do. What the hell are those? What the hell are those? Ew. Don't worry, they're oh. Close. Gas bags? Gross. So just maybe avoid them? Yeah, can I shoot them? Or maybe you could use them like against enemies. enemies. Explosives, yep. What's over here? We're going through every corner. Yup. Yup. Yeah. What are you? Upgrade. Wow, you already got an upgrade kit. Uh, improved sighting one. Cool. Take. Reduced to Omni Gel. There must be some be some some sort of source. Yeah. Codex. We'll worry about that later. Yeah, that's right. So is wanna... that at the bottom? Do you have like five health kits? Yes, between, between everyone. Between everyone. Good to know. Oh boy, I, I'm that, just gonna. gonna to like... Here it comes. Oh. What? Whoops. What was that? I just Clear. threw something. Like a mine? Maybe. Like? Uh oh. I wanted to reload using Square because I'm thinking of Fortnite. <laughs> That's what that was. Okay. So they didn't really do anything. I'll leave them alone for now. Uh. Oh, they float. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't see that they were floating. Ew, they're very creepy. Do they have like eyes or anything? Oh, it's up. Oh. Maybe a little bit. Get away, guys! Okay. Weird. They're, it's like one of those things where you, once you touch it, they explode, so. I'm not taking any chances. You already said that, Jenkins. That's what we're trying to figure out. Oh! For your squad. Whoa! Oh, oh my goodness. I oh, am yeah. so glad I'm not playing this. Oh yeah, let's go. This is way too stressful for me. So... Okay. Why would you do that? Like... Are some weapons better for... I guess if you upgrade certain things for your team? So certain ones I can't use, right? What do you mean? Like, if I go over... So I think one of the green ones I can only use for now. No? Oh, equip. Let's see. I have the pistol. Or these... Uh... Oh, I can. Never mind. Oh, no. What? You're, you're doing that for your team, you know. That Those are their weapons. So you can see their faces on the sides. Oh, so he... Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. 
And then I'm at the bottom here? Yeah. Oh. At least it pauses <laughs> when you're on here. Yeah. So I got this. Let's stick. Oh, man. So you have a pistol. I guess these are sh shotguns. shotguns. I don't know what this is, but it looks pretty dope. We'll keep it this for now. Okay. Let's move out. Yeesh. I know. I guess if it's like, oh, if you're upgrading someone's assault rifle stat, you want them to be using assault rifles. All right, how are we looking on the map? Wait, doesn't do anything, okay. So far, so good. That's where I got the upgrade? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Enemies. Dami, fellas. Oh. Jenkins! Jenkins! Wait, is he okay? Or is he dead? Oh my gosh, he's already dead. Jenkins, you freaking... Really? We literally told you not to do something stupid. Jenkins, are you dead, bro? Oh my god. I upgraded your points for nothing? Do you have time for this? We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. That was so quick. Really? You were already dead? <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Homeboy was like, get me in. Put me in. First one to go. He just stood there. <laughs> yeah, he ran right out in the open. Oh my gosh. Rip Jenkins. Damn, 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 damn. And your and the Lenko took some damage as well. Yeah. Okay. So what is that blue thing? Is that like your shield? It might be. Yeah. Uh, Medi gel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omni gel can be used to bypass uh, decryption in electronics challenges. Okay. I don't want to heal my squad yet. So triangle to heal your squad. So I just that just heals them. Let's see. Does it heal everyone? I think it heals everyone. Okay. Check your targets. Could be friendlies. Check your targets. That's true. I don't want to end up dead like somebody. Oh. Ah. Here we go. Ah. There we go. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. Mm. I'm going to check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. All right, separating up a bit. Okay, we did that already with the rankings. I like the music a lot. It is, yeah, it's really cool. Um, all right. Oh God. Attack your tar attack your target. Move um, point. Move points. Call them back. Oh man, managing squad members. So we have what? Oh. So if you test it on one of these guys. That's for target, right? Wait. Oh, ah. here we go. There we go. Oh, we did it. Nice. Yes. I am the commander. Kill. Oh god. So I can do that while I'm shooting too. I'm just gonna get rid of you just so I don't run into you accidentally. Interesting that I don't really have like a... Yeah, there's no real reload. It's more about charge. Like if I don't, I don't wanna like overheat my gun. Ah, uh, so they're not was... really bullets. They're just like bursts of... Energy, looks like. What's on here? Here we go. Med kit. Nice. Not that you really needed. Jenkins needed one. <laughs> needed need a lot, a lot. More. Come on, man. I give you. I thought I gave him heaven armor. I should. Maybe I should have upgraded that. His armor. All right. These are the Eden people. 
Get out of there! Yeah, there we go. Okay. Welcome to the crew. What the? Who are these guys? Oh, okay. Oh. Get the point. That sucks. Yo, can we help her? <laughs> Oh no, she's dead. Where are you at? You gotta hurry up. Uh, what are you attacking? Oh, is that her? Yeah. Ooh, their shots do a bit more damage. What was that? Did you like target it? Yeah, so once I, so once I zoom in, I, didn't think I, was gonna... oh. I hit the D-pad to attack. I think that's how that works. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Yes. Right. Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. Damn. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Um... Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. Geth? The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 mm -hmm. years. Why are they here now? The source, the beacon. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Join us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Okay, Williams? Let's go. We need you after Jenkins. <laughs> uh, Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic mm. life forms with limited AI programming, AI. created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. Weird. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Oh. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Maybe they've been Nobody's planning. really heard much from them since. Yep. Planning their return. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. I doubt it. Uh, before the attack. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. Because sometimes we Shepard's eyes get like really big. The main colony to the <laughs> Tell me. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Okay. Uh, then we have Nihilus. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. <laughs> Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry, like I said, no Turians. No Turians. Okay, let's go. Move out. All right, move out. Move it out. Oh, what do we got? Okay, so let's. I'll press the options button to access the mission computer, then go to the squad screen to spend talent points for new squad members. Okay, so now she's just in our squad now. Yeah. So like, are are people just like expendable? Like, maybe to some extent. Okay. Or some might have, like, scripted deaths or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Ashley, what are you doing? But some could probably die that don't have to die. Right. Let's increase your health. Um, damage. Yeah, let's get you some... Let's get you some armor. Okay. Uh, how you doing? You're good. How's Shepard doing? We're good. All right. I won't worry about Codex yet. Uh, do we have... What's our current mission? Find the beacon. Okay, cool. Alright, let's... Uh, let's test out... I imagine this is shotgun. These are assault rifles. So then I have... A pistol. And assault rifle. Let's go. What is this? Upgrade kit? Grenade upgrade. Ammo upgrade. Uh, okay, take all. To change your team's equipment, press the options button to access the mission computer. Then select the equipment screen. There's oh, another one? That? Oh, we didn't... Is it load? 
Oh wait, I slowed game. <laughs> I thought it was like you're low, like okay, you're yeah, weapon you're load. Yeah, out. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, upgrade. That's where you do your upgrades. Upgrade gear for your squad. Okay, breaks down into Omni Gel if you want to do that. So, this is me. <laughs> yes. Okay, we got this. Okay, shot, assault rifle, shotgun, pistols, snipers. Grenade. Grenades. Grenades. Armor. Okay. And I do this for everyone? Oh my god. So, it's like, it's tough, right? Because it's like, I don't want to upgrade Ashley and then like two seconds later she dies in a cutscene. Well, I feel like maybe now that they're like telling you about it. It's that's not gonna happen. Yeah. So medium, medium. <laughs> He's got light arm. Very, very interesting. Um, I was focused on me, but it seems like the resources are all just like one thing. It's like one account yeah. basically. I can't be like I right, me go all me all on whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. So what did we just get? Pistol. Yeah. Assault. What is this? Oh, chemical rounds. Sure, let's try that. But okay. so can I do that with every everything? No. I thought you got several upgrades. Or was oh improved sighting. Accuracy. Let's do that for let's hold off on that for now. Okay, confirm the exit. Um, all right, chill, chill out for now. Don't worry about the codex yet. Let's go back to the mission. Oh gosh, scorpion. Armor. Okay, I want to take. I want to see the armor. Uh, um, let's see, where armor? So. So it's worse damage, but. Better bigger shield bigger. and tech slash biotic protection? Details. So median armor offers an increased level of protection, but also increases movement penalties affecting weapon accuracy. Mm. Soldiers need extra training to wear it. So basically it's like, yeah, what build do you want? Medium, light, heavy. Okay. Um, it's just my grenades. Sure. Um, where is... There we go. I don't have any armor upgrades. I guess we'll keep that for now. So can you see the other... Wait. So the other armor... How do you... Oh, you just equip. Oh, that's it. I see. So... I mean... I'm getting a little desert snake vibes going on here we keep the we keep the og for now all right now we're good man this is gonna be a lot to like just ma manage at first yeah we thought this world was safe until the geth showed up like, yeah. yeah okay so you came from Smells back like smoke. here or was it back there let's see map no oh, they all kind of go to the same place okay Anything hidden? Oh, is this where I got the med kit? No. What's yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah, I think that was oh, it. Is this new? Is this new? I can't tell. Yep, told you it was new. Dang. I told you this is where you got it. <laughs> oh, wait, is that? Who's this? Dead bodies? I don't know. Yeah, someone's burned up. Burned up. All right. So how do I... So basically, I wonder if I control... Does that control everyone? Like, how do I manage between right. my squad me unless, or do they both go there? I, I really don't know. Maybe it's whoever's closest. Yeah. Come back. Okay. <laughs> Return. Oh, so they did that to everyone. Yeah. I feel like this is an unnecessary contraption. <laughs> like you have to those are not don't those yeah. are just disposable i guess you can so. just use that for every single front to the waypoint to take 
cover. Take cover. Cool. Hello? Approaching a low object will make you... Okay, crouch. Yeah. Ah, improve stability and aim. Cool. Ha. Oh, here we go. Ah! Ooh, yeah! I like that little burst. Okay, you got enemies on your radar. Oh, I know that one. Oh, that's how you do it. Press it again to detonate. Okay. Uh. Donde? Surprise! That didn't work. I thought it was like the rock. Oh yeah, but you saw. You can see the ice. Um, uh, Ashley, go up there. Uh, here. You're not moving. Melee. Oh, sick. Surprise! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I get you? Melee! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> oh, and yeah, and your acid rounds, too. Yes, that's what's been... Uh, that green goo. Yeah. Alright, we're all good, we're all good. Anything up here? I'm ready. I'm feeling the combat, though. I know it's a lot in the upgrading, but I like it. What are you? Pistol? A new what? A new pistol? Oh, man. Reaper 2. Oh. So it's like, oh my goodness. Okay, well, we're, I think let's get through the first. What's this? Oh, this is it, the dig site? Oh. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. Of course moved. it was. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know Well, they were we here, so the probably camp. then. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Journal. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. I oh, yeah, don't even have Nihilus yet. Nihilus is over there chilling, killing everyone by himself. Mm -hmm. Having all the fun. Okay. Uh, how are you feeling about time? Uh, we can keep this is the first episode. Okay. We're, go we're a little still bit learning. Longer. We can go a little longer. All right. Let's keep going for now. Let's go ahead. Actually, let's try out the. You want to check out the new sniper weapons? So this is. I got a new what? Banshee. Okay. Okay. That doesn't seem as good. Well, more damage, but so capac. So I imagine if it's less capacity, it like. Overloads more quickly. Um, we got a new pistol. Edge. Okay. Uh, do we go for damage? Sure. Try it out. Wait, no. How do we switch? Uh, does this equip, right? Uh, equip, yeah. Wait. So Oh, you can transfer? That's nice. Oh, that is nice. That's what that came up. Okay. And now it looks better. That's right, because the gun had... Mmm. I see you. Uh, Avenger 1, Reaper 2. So, but you could give these to the other guys if... That's true. You don't want them? Yeah. I very well could. I know, I don't want to take everything for myself. But... Let's take this thing. <laughs> All right, and then how how are they looking? Do they have anything? They, they probably have, have all the same, right? The yeah, same the like basic, basic stuff. stuff. Okay. So then when I start getting more stuff, um, I'll be good to go. So it kind of feels like it's set up like you'll always have two companions with the circle. Yeah. Maybe not always, but. Mm-hmm. Now let's go up here. It's a little quiet for now. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Mm. Mm. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Whoa. Oh, God. They're still alive. 
Oh no, that's creepy. What did the Geth do to them? Oh. They turned them into zombies. Husk? <laughs> Get him. Running around. He's yeah. just like, <laughs> Damn, they're, oh, damn, they're tanky. Yeah, keep your distance. Uh, go over there. There you go. Get around. Circle around. Circle around. Nice. Nice. Back to me. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> All right, we're going pretty good so far. No yeah. one's really taking damage. Yeah. Banshee one. Rifles. Uh, okay. I'll just take call for now. Enormous. Do we have an inventory space? I don't know. Maybe. We'll find out eventually. That's true. So they can turn them into some other creature. Yikes. Yikes indeed. Easy to, uh, decryption door. Hacking? Let's hack. That door Security box engaged. What do you know about this? Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has requires talent, you'll be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface or by spending Omni Gel. Repeat the sequence of button presses before time expires. This is me. I can do this. Okay. Okay. That was it? I guess so. So you just, you could do it like at the same time? I, that's what I did? Oh, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. You're safe. Actually, I can't guarantee that. Don't <laughs> what happened? Up in the shed. We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved okay. to the spaceport earlier this morning. So there's still a chance. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up Manuel. the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Ah, uh, you need to chill, bro. Uh, attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Uh, Has anyone seen Nihilus? Nihilus! Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. Prophet? That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. Is there another Turian? I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Hmm, weird. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? Okay. We have unearthed the heart of <laughs> Awaken the beast! He does not feel as excited about this. No. <laughs> Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Uh, so did that. Assistant. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Oh. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To oh. see the destruction rushing towards us? <laughs> She's just like, oh, I've had enough of your there crap, is no Manuel. Escape, no hope. No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <laughs> I can, I can shut him up. No. Wait, what? What does that mean? So like, slap him or something? I, know, I guess so. He's been doing it. I don't want to make him break. <laughs> Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Hush, Manuel. Okay. <laughs> You're wasting your time. The age of humanity is over. Our extinction is inevitable. <laughs> Manuel, I need to ask you something. It's probably best if you just leave him alone. Time to shut you up? Wait, her or Manuel? Probably, probably Manuel. Probably okay. I don't have time for this. 
So Manuel it can be talked with. What about um, Warren? Yes. Is there something you need? That's the same. Okay. Goodbye. We better get moving. Good luck, Commander. Luck won't save you. Oh, we get it. It's over. We're done. I like him. Then I shouldn't be here. Everyone then. should be a little bit paranoid right now. Like these are AI creatures that are. That's true. That are killing Check everyone. Could be friendlies. It used to be beautiful here. Not anymore. Okay. What's in here? Great. Nice. Hurricane. Hurricane. Hammer. Guardian. See that? I feel like I can just take everything. And no one else is using it. That's true. Alright, people. Where you at? Hey. Let's go. You're not moving. Everyone's just going to stay here. Where do you go this way? Here. There we go. Yeah. I I guess it's a solo mission now. Oh, is... Okay, left is... Uh, one person, right is the other. That makes sense. Duh, of course, Rick. Of course, now we're good to go. Well, one of them made it out. Progress. Yeah. Okay. I guess Ashley's the only one joining. Kaden, what are you doing? Are you done? Are you gonna sit here and... Uh, He's stuck. He's trying. Roast some uh, marshmallows. He's trying. Over the corpses. Look at him. He's so stressed out. He, he can't get. I don't get out of here. So what are you? Are you left? Are you left. Okay. What's up? Let's come here. Okay, you're not moving. There we go. Get you, you can out of. Do it. Then go here. Dude, he does go not want to leave. There we go. Kaden. Good shit. <laughs> All right, we're back. Now you just do this. And nice. you're free. Okay. Wow. Well done. Thank you. Oh. Cutscene. You probably didn't even need to do that then. Oh, yeah. it's Nyla's. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. All for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what, see what Nyla's has in his arsenal. <gasps> he looks <Sad>. worried. <gasps> there was another. A fellow. Oh, he Ooh, looks mean. Oh, yeah. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing Please here? Betrayal. The council thought you could use some help on this. I don't one. believe that. Don't trust him. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. Don't trust the him! The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. No! Can Is you save it? No! Is he dead? I like Nihilus. No, he's not dead. It's Nihilus. Oh, oh that's a body. Dang. All right, here we go. Sniper. Uh, oh, they're coming too. Okay, the team is not taking cover. Team over here. It's getting crazy oh, I can't now. jump. I can't jump. Air, follow me. Fall back. There we go. Get him out of the way. Nice. Let's get the sniper out. Yeah. Who's next? Who's next? Are those explosives? Let's find out. Yep. The chip over here. Over here. <laughs> I feel like you kind of like just controlling that. You get over there. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Tactical. Let's go. No one's listening. Where's Ashley at? Is she dead? Okay, you guys no. are good. He health is good. I can keep. I, I'll keep an eye on their health for you. There we go. T little little tag team there. All right. Before we go and check if Nalas is still breathing. Uh, what's up here? On the gel. What was that guy's name? Saren. Saren. Ooh. 
Everybody stay calm out there. Cold. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Um, it's Stop right there. <laughs> somewhere there. Freeze! We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have Ooh. found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Okay. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. Mm. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Okay, positivity. We'll check it out. We need that. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Yep. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the dam. Oh, here we go. Only it was coming from inside your own head. Oh. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Uh, we're good. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. What's going? I don't like being lied to. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. <laughs> what kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Oh. So you don't have high enough charisma, probably. Right. Or oppression. Right. So maybe there's more stuff? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I don't this need it. Help. Let's move out. Good luck. So, Fi, Stinker 2. Okay. So, if I go to squad. Ah, six? What? Oh, you totally could have upgraded it. So, that's charm and intimidate is what? Do you think those were intimidate options? Or was there one of each, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Let's just have one of each, just to be sure. Um, armor. Yep. I'm kind of liking the assault rifle. Mm. Uh, don't have enough for shotguns yet. Uh, what do you have to do for shotgun? I don't know. Oh, pistols have to have four points in it. Gotcha. And then sniper. Oh, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, Ashley. Pistols. Okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's get you up. Uh, Kaden. Okay. Abilities. Do that. Decryption. Let's do barrier. Um. Sure. And then first aid. Dope. So if I. Go back to you. I came here to get a. You need something? No. Too late. Too late. I have to go. Good luck. All right. What do you have in here then? Can I just go in here? Storage locker. Electronics skill too low. What is electronics? That's with decryption or right. Um. Wait. Do I not have that ability? So it, does it just have to be someone in your squad that has it? Right, because Caden is the hat. Oh, which I need. Four. He needs four to get the electronics. Huh. Dang. And I can't have him do that yet. Okay. 
<sighs> so that could be a good thing to focus on. You need something? Him. Yeah. I have to go. Okay. We got that. I know we got new weapons. I know. Yeah, the, the new pistol, right? Yeah, so... <laughs> Reaper. Let's go pistol. Was it the Stinger? Ooh. Yeah, the Stinger 2. Oh, okay. yeah, that's much better. Okay, so let's get the Stinger 2. Yeah. And then let's give... Ashley... That's the same. Pretty much. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, back to back to me. I'm good in sniper. What else did they get? They get. I got a new armor. I think. Yeah, you have a few armors at so, this point. Oh. Hydra. I thought there's a green goblin. <laughs> uh, we'll still we'll stick with the guardian for now. Maybe we can give. Um, Ashley. Oh, yeah, she could use a better... It's all kind of the same, huh? That's better damage protection. This one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, assault rifles, the Banshee. I'm so good on that. Okay. We're good. I haven't used the shotgun yet. So, does that mean you're going to get to become a Spectre, or no? <laughs> oh, if he's still... I know. Because, yeah, he was kind of the one handling that. Yeah. Shotgun. Maybe you're going rogue. I know. On your own. Oh, I said investigate. Yeah, Let's... probably when you go up there. All right, before I do that, I'm making sure... No stone is left unturned. I think we're good. Damn. Commander, it's Nihilus. No, I liked him. Nah, he got wrecked. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Okay, you're a coward. I was not assuming anything yet. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. Powell? I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Damn. Yeah, he got, he had a really good view of this. I know, he saw there. everything. <laughs> I'm just lucky he didn't see me here. behind the crates. I took this photo for you, too. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. Mm. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. Cargo train. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Hmm. Mm. Um. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute the ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Okay. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. It feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. Except that claw thing it we saw, probably. It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise. This, right. this sound that... Yeah. Right into your brain. I jammed the signals. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. You woke up? You were sleeping? I thought you were working here on the docks. I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab mm. 40 winks where the supervisor can't find I guess I saved his life. You survived because you're lazy? You make me sick. <laughs> Oh, I love some of these dialogues. I'm gonna try options. it. 
You ditch work, then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do, run out there and die? Fair enough. <laughs> I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. Okay, yeah. That's all good then. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Saving. Dang, can I say anything about Nihilus? Oh, we don't get to investigate it now? We should move, Commander. Oh. oh that's unfortunate. I think you kicked off the cutscene before. Oh. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Uh... Ah. Damn. Alright, okay. Where, how do we get over there? This way? Oh. What's this? How's our health? Okay, we're doing good on health. No. Oh. Hammerhead rounds. Ooh. Ready reactive rounds. Alright. Um, how do we get over there? I think you could go back this way. Right. Nice. Good call. Oh. Where you at? Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> Alright, um Uh what? Use to aim and press X to you wait. To use to aim at a target. Select the power. And press X to use. Sabotage? Overheats the enemy weapons and burns them for minor damage. Um, adds a biotic barrier for your shield and absorbs damage. Yep. Allows you to throw enemies and objects using a mass effect field. Overkill. So, and I have this. So how do I... That's how you do it. Okay. There we go. And then if I... This is a lot, bro. Is there like a recharge to that or... Oh yeah. Yeah. No, wait. There we go. What does that do? I think it over... It overheats their weapons and they go, get caught on uh, fire. Oh, that's cool. Hey, he's charging at me! <laughs> wow, not very smart. Alright, uh... <laughs> the one last stand. Here we go. Ah. Wait, don't go, go this way, this way, this way. There you go. Cover me! <laughs> you should melee. Oh, yeah. That works too. Let me sneak attack. Alright, maybe not. Ah! Huh. Oh. Damn. Uh, you're here. Who's the other girl at? Ashley. Where's Ashley? Uh, let's try. Overkill. Okay. Uh oh. Shotgun. Uh oh. Whew. Ouch. All right. Okay. Uh, come to me. There we go. How's our health doing? That's so, too bad. wait, is only your, does only your health regenerate, or? Yeah. Okay. Ashley hasn't taken anything. Good. Controls. 
activate. Whee! Oh my goodness, okay. You. Is this him? Yeah, right? Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence. Wow. Oh. They want to just kill everyone. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, that's pretty clear, but... So, does he work for someone else? Yeah, he's going rogue. Te That's kind of weird. Telekinetic abilities. More of these guys. Oh no. What are we walking into? Okay. Donation in five minutes? Oh! Do we stop here? No, you can't stop okay. here. Okay. <laughs> Different content. Okay, Demolition we gotta go. Charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. All right. At least they're flagged on the map. Um, where they at? Where they at? Where they at? I think you're just gonna have to okay. yeah continue. Uh, to this. Uh, people over here. Oh, they have the oh. barriers, okay. Over here, guys. Follow me. Oh! Oh, it's another one. Over here. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Disarm. Let them take care of things. Okay. Only one more? Uh, let's do... Wait, why is yours gone? Oh, I don't know. Or does it depend on the weapon you're using? Oh, yeah, true. It's assault rifles, that's right. Oh. Gel, 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 chill, chill, chill. What do you do about that? Oh, it's just like a temporary... Sh I basically just move around it. Wait! It's jammed! Melee! Okay. What's jammed? You can get jammed. Wait, what's jammed? Oh, your, your, uh, map. Weird. Oh. This arm? There we go. Oh, there's still one left? Yeah. Okay, guys, to me. So we don't even know where it is? Let's do... Let's switch between... Oh, wait. Uh, let's go pistol. Sniper. Okay. Do I have any special abilities for this? I don't. Got it. Ooh. Surprise! Melee! <laughs> <laughs> One hit. Wait, really? One hit. I don't know what I got there. Med gel. <laughs> uh, wait, where are these? That's This is a dead end, right? Or is it? Oh, no, you have oh, to Oh, there's more. Did I miss anything over here? Uh, there's a thing over there. Oh, wait, there. here we go. Oh, nice. Last one. Yeah. We're good. How you guys doing? Morale? In the middle of a fight. I'm just trying to see how you're doing, morale. <laughs> Don't mind me. Uh, back here. To me. Fall back. Damn. Oh, this for nothing? Is be that the fastest you can run? Unfortunately. Dumb. Alright, yeah, let's just go. Pretty empty. There we go. I love how they run, it's so funny. I know. <laughs> Uh, let's do the assault rifle. And now we're good to go. Okay. I feel like you're, you're getting into the flow of the yeah. combat. Someone go here. Someone go. Get those headshots. There we go. Um, someone get right here.
Nice. Good setup, good setup. Storage docker? Okay. Yay, you did it. Ooh. No one's getting blown up. Hopefully. Hopefully. Crate. Light armor human, Turian. Oh man, I think the hardest part would be like micromanaging everything. My god. It's like mm. someone dropped a bomb. Ooh. That must be where the Geth ship landed. Damn. Okay. Wait, that's the beacon? I get. So the beacon is. Literally right. Oh, oh so that's, that's where he was. What... He was floating like that. He was oh, floating. Was he like absorbing the knowledge or something? Could be. Weird. Yeah. <gasps> Scimitar. The hurricane. Oh my gosh. I know. Okay. Um, so what's on our, what's on our objectives at the moment? Yeah. I guess we gotta investigate the beacon. Right. Okay. Then we have, I don't have a bunch of codex to read still. Oh my gosh. Well, this... The terminus systems... Okay, so if it's blinking, that's new. So yeah. there's only, there's three new ones there. Only one Well, there. maybe, should we start off the next episode with that? Yeah. And, and then, then, do you want to f finish off by, in, like, completing the investigating the, the beacon? We can do yeah. that. All right, cool. And then we'll call it a day. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Okay. Something must have activated. Yeah, oh, so that's what it did, sir. Roger Normandy, standing by. Don't get too close. Get uh -oh. in. Oh, it's pulling him in. Sit. Go, come on, guys, do something. I gotta be ready. Oh, we're getting oh. sucked in. No, don't touch. Are you getting imprinted with knowledge? It exploded. What just happened? I feel like something crazy just happened to us. Yeah. We got imprinted with some sort of knowledge. I mean, because it didn't break when Saren did it. Oh, wow, it's so cool. That's it. That's what we saw. Oh, no. Looks very evil. Yup. I was expecting Thanos to show up. We identified the ship that touched down on the matriarch. Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Why didn't he use it? I thought he did. Oh, he's pissed. This human must be eliminated. You should have stayed back and fought us yourself. <laughs> the major. So I wonder why I didn't react Doctor? to him that way. Doctor Chakwas. Sarah. I think she's waking up. Or maybe it only has like two charges in it and that's it. Yeah. Oh, so Sarah, maybe Saren does know stuff. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? What happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Don't blame yourself. You had no way to know what would happen. He will remember that. that. <laughs> That's what set it off. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Thanks. 
I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Mm -hmm. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Was it a vision or more like a nightmare? Maybe a vision. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, Jenkins. I forgot about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Uh, what happened to... Oh, uh, Ashley Williams. Oh, did yeah. we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Cool. That's a mistake. <laughs> good. She was cool. Williams is a good soldier. That's she deserves it. <laughs> Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Uh, I'm pissed off about the get. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Mm. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. We've got nothing to hide. I mean, it's just... I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. Thanks, You're Captain. a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. Of course. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Mm -hmm. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Ah. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. Mm. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about but it. But he is. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? I mean, I just saw a vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? <sighs> I can't. I couldn't even tell. I mean, could you make up? It was just. It seemed like chaos. Yeah. Maybe a warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Oh. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Hmm, what will we say? I know. <laughs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? Right. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. For sure. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll stop him. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on but our yeah, what side. about the betrayal? Right, what if it's in the end? What if the Council's in on it? We expose him? We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay, so once that, tell Joker that'll... Okay, right. that's a good stopping point. Look at yeah. Shepard. 
badass and all. Well, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was more enjoyable than I expected. It was a little overwhelming at first, for sure. But yeah. once we got like past the first, I don't know, like hour, I feel like we settled in. Yeah, I, I kind of with the combat, I kind of expected it to be just kind of like a gun blazing shooter, which it kind of is in some um, aspects. But I kind of like the whole strategizing mm -hmm. with your teammates and. Um, they all have their own unique yeah. abilities, so there's a lot of, again, strategy to that, which it's cool. You can tailor the experience in your own unique way. I like the aspect of it that's, like, talking to people and information gathering. Yeah. And then there's, like, some different dialogue options. You can be a little nicer. You can be a little tougher. A little tougher. What happened um, to Manuel? The crazy guy. Is that his oh, name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the doctor. The doc. Hey, he was predicting bad things, and look what we saw. Yeah. Um, Story-wise, I'm intrigued. I'm yeah. engaged. What is uh, Saren up to? What is this? What What do we exactly exactly see when we mm. trigger the beacon overload? A lot of questions still. Yeah. Um. What the else? only thing that bothers me so far is the subtitles are too dang high on the screen. Oh, I know. I wonder if we can I hate when that. that happens. Yeah, it's like an awkward, awkward positioning. Yeah. Right? But other it than looks that, really good. Good, Did yeah. It play pretty well. Played pretty well. Not too buggy at all. Um, so overall, pretty enjoyable experience. Which yeah. means there will be an episode two. Yes. That's great. Woo. Um, party time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.